Hey everybody, it's Colette Baron reed Welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance and Lesson. I'm so excited because I haven't used the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards for a while, nor have I used the Good Tarot. So this is the week that I decided to switch up and I love it when I feel that connection. You're gonna notice if you work with other Oracle card decks of mine um, and you have more than one, that they have kind of personalities, like they're inhabited by this animated consciousness that's always part of the divine because we're always looking for the highest good and that's the only way you use my cards. Um, but it really does feel like a completely different being you're having a conversation with, I loved it. So this week um, I asked, what is in our highest good? For all of us that are watching this video and me doing the video to co-create the reality that we set in motion at the beginning of the year because all of us have let's be honest right every time that the new year comes we like put our affirmations and our intentions on our dream boards and our vision boards and mind movies and you know and then eh, you know usually by now we're like eh, what do we do I forgot right <laughs> so so I'm gonna kind of like reboot this again and uh, see what happens so of course what card did we get was intention um, so this is a week, uh, for the week of February 26th, that we are re-aligning uh, our intentions that we started at the beginning of the year. So what this means is to kind of do an inventory, I like to do an inventory, um, and, and regroup around the motives behind what you set in motion at the beginning of the year. Maybe you put too much onus on one area of your life to change. You know, like a lot of people go on diets and then break them by now, or they're trying to do exercise programs, or they're, they try to fix the outside and they don't really look at much about what's going on inside. So if your intention is to improve your life and become the person that you desire, which is mostly what we are trying to do, then now and this week is a good week for you to take a look at any kind of hidden agendas that are around that. And also, um, are you trusting the process? Like, are you thinking that it's all you doing it because stuck in the mud um, is the next card, which is the anchor card, where a lot of times we look at the time of the world and say like, where is my, where is my manifestation? Where is it? It's not there. It's not happening fast enough. It's stuck. I don't get it. And people say they're stuck. I've been hearing that a lot. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You're not stuck. We are not stuck. The truth is, mountain, um, is that we perceive obstacles. And the biggest obstacle everybody perceives is time. They think things have to be time and form, time and space or, or manifest form, right? So you look at how long it takes to get something off the ground or make something happen. And then the form that you want is rarely <laughs> what you end up with. So the message here, the meaning here is don't make a mountain out of just the need for you to accept where you're at. Don't turn it into an obstacle, it isn't one. There's all the time in the world because encouragement is the card that really is the exclamation card for this. Um, actually, the last card's the exclamation card, but it's the card that culminates the four, uh, the, the four stories in motion, if you will, that interweave to tell you what's going on this week. So, and what you need to work with is to remind you like, hey, wait a sec, you know, if, if I didn't get what I thought I wanted uh, by this time, well, what is mine will not go past me. So if that is true too, and if I am in partnership with the conscious universe when I'm co-creating my reality, co-create means with something and someone else, right? Or, right? It's a collaborative effort between me and spirit or the, or the universe. Well, then that means that I gotta let that big invisible intelligence that knows more than me do their thing right? And we have to step out of the way. And sometimes we become our own obstacle. And that's what this is saying. But the encouragement card is there. So, and the encouragement card and the intention card go together because it's saying, don't worry about the temporary glitch in the middle. Keep going this week. Let's look now at the card that we got from the good tarot. Normally, I know you guys, some of you are going to say, where's the postcard from spirit? But we're going to use good tarot. Why? Because good tarot is kind of like a, a the baby, a hybrid baby. If the tarot and oracle cards had a baby, they would be the good tarot. And so here it is. These are positive affirmations based on the essential meaning of the card that originated from traditional tarot. Okay, so we just, we, we gave it a little different twist. And it's the call. It works perfectly with this reading. 
card number 20. It's of the major arcana. I'm going to read it to you because these are affirmations. It says, purpose and true prosperity. I have everything I need right now to move forward with purpose. I'm being called into a deeper and more authentic relationship with myself, with my higher power and with others. I am here for a reason. I'm required to step forward into my true self, expressing that through my actions. I need to trust that my life has a purpose, that I am enough, and that within me is a divine blueprint that has meaning for myself and others. So right there, that was just so perfect for the entire storyline, because right there, that, that's the exclamation point card. <laughs> It tells us that we have to trust, that we have a divine blueprint within us that will serve ourselves and others, but it will also come in divine appropriate timing. So let go your, your fear about any obstacles and whatever, and let's just say there was a real obstacle and it's not just one you made, well, that's excellent because rejection is God's protection. So if you didn't get what you want this week, yay, something better is coming. All right, see you next week, take care. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends, those you think might need this reading, and leave a comment, I'd love to read them. And don't forget, you can go to my website for free. You can pick three cards there from any one of four decks that are up there right now. And then you're gonna see how these four cards and your three intimate cards that are personally picked for you come together to form a story in motion that is intimate and special just for you. Because isn't that, you're, you're the unique one, right? Isn't that what we want? Is a unique individual connection to the universe. And the cards are the key. Cards are the key. Remember, the cards are the key. I'll see you next week. Bye. I've seen the future. It's beautiful.